Hi everyone and welcome to module 12. In module 12 we're going to be reading chapter 12 and you're going to be going uh, you're going to be completing quiz number 9. On quiz number 9 you have two attempts and I'm going to take the highest of those two, two attempts so make sure to focus on those two attempts. For quiz number 9 you're going to look at aggregate expenditures and output in the short run. You note know that aggregate expenditures that's going to be looking at total spending. And total spending will have a very important influence in our economy. And it's made up of these four components, consumers, investment, government, and net exports. So let's go over some of the questions that you might see on your quiz for this week. I'm going to be looking at national income. And what does national income, what does the equation look at? When you look at aggregate expenditures, you notice that consumer confidence is very important to our economy. And whenever there's changes in the unemployment rate or the, uh, the business cycles change, there's going to be a lot of challenges our economy is going to be facing. Question three, looking at the decrease in the price level. If you have a decrease in the price level, you know that people can buy more. So the aggregate expenditures will shift based on this. Question four is looking at the difference between GDP and disposable income. And when we look at GDP, we're looking at how much is being produced, and disposable income is looking at how much people have to spend. Question five is looking at actual investment spending, but things that it doesn't include. Okay, what does it not include? Aggregate expenditure includes spending on what? So it's the four components again. Changes in interest rates. Increase in interest rates will make consumers not as likely to buy durable goods and services because it costs more money. Investment spending, that's dealing with businesses and what they have to spend. Uh, question nine is looking at uh, the five most important variables that determine the what of disposable income. What are the five most important or, I'm sorry, the five most important variables are income wealth, future income and price level and interest rates. How does that influence what happens? Question 10 is looking at a decrease in consumer confidence and what happens to our jobs if there's a decrease in consumer confidence. So those are some of the things, questions that you'll see for this week. If you have any questions, please let me know, but I look forward to your effort.